Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today we're talking all about makeup brushes. This has been one of the most asked questions here on my YouTube channel. So let's hop into it. Okay, so I'm talking about brushes, their uses, the types of brushes, and some of my favorite brushes to use on a daily basis. Your makeup tools are just as important as your makeup products. Because if you don't have good makeup tools, you cannot achieve a flawless makeup look. So it's always good to invest in some sort of makeup tools to help you to get the desired look that you're going for when it comes to makeup application. Tools are of utmost importance they go hand in hand with your products before i start into my favorite uh, brushes on a daily basis i want to touch on two things about makeup brushes makeup brushes are either synthetic or or natural hair brushes synthetic meaning they were man-made and natural hair meaning um they were the they, they were made from the fur of animals and as it says synthetic brushes are more like plasticky and natural hair is a very similar to your own natural hair so synthetic brushes doesn't hold on to your product as much but a natural hair brush will hold on to the product so it depends on the look that you're going for you will see which brush you choose to gravitate towards but i would recommend having both in your makeup collection your makeup kit another thing to bear in mind when it comes to your makeup brushes is the density of the brush and what i mean by that is some brushes are Packed. the brushes the bristles are shorter and there isn't much movement in it like this one this is a very dense brush so what that's gonna do is it's gonna pack the color on a punch it's really gonna hold the product and pack it on because it's very dense and this is a natural hair brush and as you can see it's longer and it, there's more movement in it there's more blendability in it so it allows you to blend the color at the same time it's not gonna pack it on too much as compared to a denser brush. So these are things that should be in mind when it comes to makeup brushes, the density and how it's made, synthetic. So let's start with face brushes, because I feel like face brushes are simpler and they're just not as intimidating as eye brushes. I know that there are so much brands out there that make uh, makeup brushes these days and that can be very intimidating because you don't know what it is you should try. But off the top of my head, some of my favorite brands are Elf Cosmetics, morphe bh cosmetics and real techniques their brushes are very good they're very inexpensive they're very affordable anyone can afford it so these are just my favorite brands so that true that out there so you can look into purchasing brushes from them they are just very good and you just would not regret it all right so the first brush i want to talk about is a foundation brush mine is busted but that's the only foundation brush i've used and love because i am not a foundation brush girl i am a sponge girl i love my beauty sponges i feel like i get a better application with it but i just feel like it's a necessity to actually have a foundation brush in your kits this one i bought off amazon morphe makes a good one it's the m439 I'll, i will list all the brushes that i spoke about in the description box so you can always refer to that when it comes to if you want to purchase anything but a foundation brush is necessary in your kit whether or not you're like me and like to use um sponges you need a foundation brush to help blend with creams and things like that so that's the one that i will reach for or like i said the morphe m439 i had that a very long time ago i never repurchased it because like i said i'm a sponge girl before i even move further i i want to mention that i i know i always say that makeup is very personal and to each his own so even though a makeup brush is marketed as a blush brush doesn't mean you cannot use it for a powder or it's marketed as a blending for eyeshadow brush you can use it as a concealer brush it all comes down to your personal preference marketing is a thing to make money and i'll get into that in another video that i have planned coming up but you can use your brushes for whatever you see fit and however it works best for you so um that is the reason why makeup is so personal you understand so let me um jump into the powder brushes these two, this one is from Real Technique, this one is from Elf. I'm mentioning two in almost all the categories just to give you options and to show you the difference because powder, powder brushes, they do come different. And go back to me speaking about density of brushes. They're all different. They're not all created the same, but they could do and perform, kind of give you the same end result. So this one is the Elf Flat Top Powder Brush. 
and this one is flat and as you can see it's dense as compared to the real technique this is a blush brush but it works very well as a powder brush and the bristles are longer and it's not as dense as this one so what it's gonna do is back to density this is gonna pack the powder on more this is gonna give you a sheer wash of the powder so it all depends on the look or whatever it is you're going for that day so this is the elf powder flat top powder brush and this is the real technique blush brush which I use for powder also this one as you can see is more of a dome shape shapes are also very important in the brushes and the rolls and how they perform as well so this is gonna help me to blend um, there's a blending power to it because of the way it's shaped the bristles are not all the same length so these are the powder brushes that I like to use on a daily basis contouring or bronzing when it comes to contouring and bronzing let's let me um, speak on bronzers first I like using a brush that's like this it's bigger it's fluffier because bronzer just tend to just bronze and add some color back to your face so I don't want anything to pack the color on with a punch I want something that has more of a blending ability to it and I like using a brush like this for my bronzer and this is an elf brush I had it so long the name probably came off of it too um, but I like using this because it's gonna help me to blend it and give me the sheer wash of color that I'm looking for it's not gonna be very very precise when I apply my bronzer, which is what you want when you're applying bronzers. Then I have a Real Techniques contour. This one is the contour brush, and I actually use this for contouring. As you can see, the brushes, it's a smaller brush, and the brushes are the bristles are shorter and denser, but it's still gonna allow me to blend. It's gonna allow me to be very precise with where it is I want to apply the contour, and that's what contour does. You want to be kind of precise to where you apply it and still be able to blend it so that it's not that harsh. So these are my two favorite brushes for applying bronzer and contour is the real technique contour brush and the elf brush like i say i will list the names in the bottom bar when it comes to applying like a cream contour i love using the elf cheek cream and powder blush or the morphe e8 brush again they are totally different but they perform almost the same this one is um of a denser um the bristles are denser and it's a synthetic brush so it's not going to hold on to my product as much this one is softer and has longer bristles so they're going to perform differently and it depends on like i say the look that you're going for that day this is also like you can use this as a foundation brush if that's your thing they really get into every crease and crevice of your face but it's just too small for me and I would not be prepared for that so I love to use it for creams also because my face is small so like I said again makeup is personal this works well for me a bigger brush might work better for you but this is what I love to do for creams and there are synthetic brushes they just work better with cream as opposed to natural hair brushes so these are my favorite contour brushes use for blush I love using this elf it's a highlight brush and this is actually a blush brush that I had for years that I bought in a set from coastal sense I bought that that's one of my first brushes that I ever bought and I still have so much of the brushes that they were just such good quality brushes so if you notice this one is on an angle it's shorter denser and obviously it's more compact because it's denser and this one is longer and it's more dome shaped and like I said, I reach for these depends on the look that I'm going for, whether I want a sheer wash of color, whether I want it to be packed on. So that's basically what brushes are about. It's just what your preference is, is that day. You reach for the brush based on the look that you're trying to achieve that day. So this is just gonna, it's longer, so it's gonna give me a nice sheer wash of color. And this one is gonna pack it on more for me because it's shorter and it's denser. But these are two of my favorite blush brushes brush blush brushes damn can I talk I never could talk the last for the face is a highlight brush so where is the other one this is a real techniques setting brush it's marketed to like set you on the eyes uh, put powder and stuff underneath your eye which is really really good for as well and you can also use this to blend concealer out underneath your eye as well but I love it for my highlight my cheek highlight it just works really well and packs on just the right amount of pigment the size is perfect for that for me and I just prefer to use this as that another brush that I love using for my highlight is a Morphe M 501 brush and this is like a blending brush you can actually use this to apply your first transition color in your crease but I like using it as a highlight because as you can see it's very long 
and it's going to diffuse the color nicely on my cheeks so because when you're applying colors to your cheek you know um when you're applying highlight to your cheek you don't want it to be packed on with you know you don't want it to just be packed on your cheek you want it to be effort because you want to look like you're growing from within so the bristles on this is going to allow me to achieve that look whenever i'm using my highlights favorite highlight brushes are the morphe m501 and the real techniques setting brush i love these brushes for me Hey guys, I'm ending this video vlog style because as I was editing the video, I realized it was just way too long, too much information. And I really want you to soak up the information since it was such a requested video here on my channel. So this will be the end of the face brushes and the next day I would upload the eye brushes. I just didn't want to do it all at once. It just was just going to be way too long and I want you to digest the information like I said. So this will be the first part of it and the second part will come the next day, the following day, so stay tuned for that.